Uh, good morning. I guess that's a little dark. I was looking at the um, news and they were showing where these guys were marching last night in uh, South Haven and um, um, to stop the violence. Um, I know we're all looking for that um, that well, let me put it this way. The reason why we have a violent society is because you do violent things. If you whoop your children, that is a violent thing. Martin Luther King, you know, was against violence. You know, so you could pray all you want, but if you don't do anything, you know, uh, God helps those who help themselves. I don't know, um what you you expect to happen but the the people in this community the children of these communities are being birthed by the people in the community and being raised by the people in the community so if you think your children are very violent or if you think we have too much violence in the community it is because you raised them that way you taught them to be violent that's what whooping is. It's a violent act. And even uh, the way a lot of the men think about sex and the way a lot of women think about sex, it's, it's not a loving act. It, that's even a violent act, the way you portray it. So, um, you know, um, it, there's no forgiveness for somebody continuing to doing the same sin over and over. Okay, okay, how can you ask? How for, how can you ask uh, 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 for help to stop doing something when you, you, it's so ingrained in you that you have to that you have to? I mean, how else are we gonna uh, how else are we gonna discipline the kids? Well, it worked real well now, doesn't it? I mean, I don't see your logic. I don't see why you don't have the connection. But yeah, you want to end the violence? I'm gonna answer your prayer for you, okay? Are you ready? This is the answer to your prayer. To end the violence, you must stop teaching your child to be violent. And, and the way you're teaching them to be violent is by whooping them. And, um, and and if you ever say, oh, they aggravate me. You know, if the child aggravates you, you're teaching them violence. If you don't have the patience for your own child, it's because you're teaching them violence. You, you teaching the to aggravate you because when they came out they didn't know nothing the only thing they know is what you what you done taught them and if the only thing you taught them is to hit when that when when you try to teach something of course that's what they learn they learn that 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 you hit and that's airtime after that so if you want to teach them something besides violence then you must show them something besides violence you must be a mentor to your own self. But, you know, maybe, maybe, who knows? Maybe Superman will come down. <laughs> or the Green Hornet. But you have to remember, they're white, and they, and you, you never see them in the, in the kind of black people in that Marvel book with the Green Hornet. So, and, um, uh, you could pray all you want to, but as long as your actions, as long as your behaviors, and as long as you verbalize and it continue as grown ups, as the parents of these children that are violent, showing them only violence, and teaching them only violence, then you reap what you sow. So, you know, surprise, surprise, uh, the children are learning to be violent. From their mamas, their grandmas, their fathers, their grandfathers, their uncles, their aunts, in way of that are uh, you chastising them, bullying them, um, you know, calling them bad. So you know, so you're looking for some outside miracle help to change your behavior, and God gave you free will. So. You're not really paying attention or comprehending either 
even the message came out of the Bible. You got free will. If you want to go around and hitting your kids, you get you get violent kids. If you want other type of uh, uh, results, then you must do it correctly. And you know what that is? It's, it's called nurturing your child. It's called teaching the child so that 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 when they get when they get to a certain age and it's time for them to be able to be a productive part of the community that they have the skills and they learned it from their parents but the skills you they're learning from their parents is to be violent is to whoop kids and like well like all like y'all say well how else we going to uh 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 uh, uh discipline them <laughs> Make them stand in the wall like a white person. <laughs> so, nah, teach them how to make a bologna sandwich. Now, don't even do bologna because that's too pro most prostrate. Well, you're also too, never mind. Yeah, just keep keep it up and keep keep whooping them and keep enforcing. The, the whooping scenario uh, onto the next generation, and then, then, and then, then you'll understand that you're whooping. Actually, you hit like this, and violent people hit like this. Anyway, so yeah, um, God gave you free will. So if you if if, if you if you um, if you don't want to use your brain to comprehend. It is your uh, fault. It was your decision, is and um, that's how you decide to raise your kids. And as far as I'm concerned, you already uh, spit in the eye of God to to do such an abomination in the first place.